All right, what's up again? Time for another video. This time we're playing with this guy here. It's a different model than we've looked at the last couple times. This is our bell jar model, model, our bell jar model. I can't talk today. It's got several parts. It has a plastic dome, has a rubber stopper with crucially a hole in it, has a pair of balloons hanging down, a pair of white tubes in there as well. Can you see those white tubes maybe? Yeah. What else does it have? Oh yeah, rubber sheet. Each of these things represents a different, different anatomical part of the respiratory system. The plastic bell represents the thoracic wall. The blue stopper represents the trachea. The balloons, red balloons in this case, represent the lungs. The rubber sheet represents the diaphragm. The two white tubes in there represent the main or primary bronchi. All right, here's the deal. So right now the diaphragm, the rubber sheet, is flattened out. That means it's contracted, all right? It is contracted. If I were to push the sheet up, and I'm about to do it, watch what happens to the balloons. They get a little bit smaller. If I pull down, they inflate. Push up, they deflate. I can feel the air when I do that. So here's what's going on. When I pull down on the rubber sheet, I'm increasing the volume within the bell jar. And we know Boyle's law, volume goes up, pressure goes down. So the pressure in the balloons becomes less than that of the pressure around us. If we have a pressure gradient, air is gonna flow in to the balloons. If I push up, then I'm gonna decrease the volume in there. By decreasing the volume, I increase the pressure and air flows out. So change the volume, change the pressure, cause the flow. Diaphragm goes down to breathe in. Diaphragm goes up to breathe out. All right, that was quick. That was easy. See you later.